In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I care for my money plants. So I've got three types of money plants. Um, and it's been quite interesting watching them grow and evolve. And um, they were so tiny when I got them, especially the money tree. Um, you can see it in the orange pot, how big it is. So I'm going to show you today how I care for this money plant and the one, the jade plant, which is at the bottom. The jade plant has lost its leaves because I just um, propagated it. So it was dropping leaves and I'll explain um, why it was dropping leaves. And so to save it, I had to cut some of the stem and, um, you know, propagate the leaves and also the stem so that I don't lose the mother plants completely. I also have another jade plant which I bought not too long ago, a few months ago, about, you know, I think about a month ago I bought this one. I noticed that it also dropped one leaf but this came small so this is all the leaves it had when it came except for one which is also now being propagated, trying to grow it. Okay and then this one has done amazingly well um it was so tiny so basically it was like half its size when i got it um you can see the bruised leaves those bruised leaves were from packaging i bought it from a seller on amazon and when it came i would put the video uh, unboxing video when it came so you can see how small it is but the leaves were damaged so this guy had packed four plants in one tiny box um, and so when I opened the box, the leaves were damaged. So I didn't touch the leaves. I just let the leaves be. So what I'm going to do also, I'm going to try to grow the leaves because you can actually grow the leaves of this money plant. So what I'm going to do is in another video, I'll be showing you how I root the leaves and, um, and grow it into another plant and grow it into another plant. So, yeah. This is another money plant which I got also a few months ago. I bought this plant off a lovely lady on Spock. There's a video of my the day I got it. It was it's grown amazingly. It's grown. I got um, five of them, so I got one, two, three. There's a fourth one here, and then this one. All of them have done really well. See how big they are. They're really big. Um, I'll also be adding the video. So you can see how, what size they were when I first got them. But they're doing so well. I lost one. So the one on this jar, I lost that one. Um, honestly, can't understand what happened because I always check them regularly, making sure that they are watered, you know, when they're meant to be watered, not over watering them. So I'm talking about how to care for these plants. And um, I did report the middle one because you had grown so big in the tiny pots that I had. So I'll just gonna pull one of these pots out so that you can see. Actually the pot it was in was quite smaller than this. So I'll put it in a much bigger pot now. Um because it's growing so so big. I'll pull it out and show you. Hey lady, you're on camera. See the pot I moved it in. So I'll show you because I've lost one of the leaves now. I pulled one of the leaves by mistake. Oh, this was intended. Yeah, it's always good to take care of these plants. Um, so yeah, that's the pot that it's in now. It's a much bigger size than what it had before. It had a much smaller pot. So yeah, I will show you how I water them. It's it's time to water them, and what I do is that I check each pot so that um, to check the soil. I just use my finger and I just dab into the soil and, and feel it. And I can feel if the soil needs more water or not. And if it doesn't, I, would, I wouldn't water it. So for this video, the only one that needs watering is a big one. The soil is dry. And I'll show you how I water this plant. It's such a lovely, lovely plant. I'm so happy that I decided to get it. It's also a money plant. This plant brought a lot of um, good vibe in the house. Good vibe in the house. When I got it, it's almost as if the atmosphere of this house changed. Like lots of peace and love and joy, you know. I, I come into my kitchen, I'm just happy. Well, I don't know if there's anything else, but this is how I felt when I got this plant. 
and um, I think it's a lovely plant to have in your home. So if you haven't considered getting it, I think you should try it. It's so easy to take care of. Um, I'm learning so much about it. If you see, it got some little, um, that's because I think this is from overfeeding. Yeah, overfeeding. So I'm really learning so much about this plant and how to take care of it. You can see, I think when you feed it too much, it will have this brown max just to tell you hey you've you've given me too much you've given me too much food um i try to dust it because it does to always settle on plants so i try to dust it every now and then like just wipe it sometimes i just use my fingers and i just wipe it gently and clean out the dust that's what i do and sometimes when i'm watering it i just run it over on the tap i just let the tap like water just run through it and um, to wash it off and to wash off the dust so yeah i'm going to bring all three plants and show you how bring all three plants together and show you how i water them so we'll do this one first because it's just by the kitchen and then i'll bring the other one and then show you how i water these plants um they don't need too much water and feeding feeding so when I first got it, I think I fed it a bit too much. <laughs> I fed it a bit too much, but you doesn't need too much feeding. Um, I think space it out maybe every two weeks or even every month. Feed it. Don't feed it too much. And also because of the size of the pot. The size of the pot will determine how big it grows. Um, if you want it to grow any bigger, if you have the space, then put in a bigger pot. And then, you know, the roots will expand and it will grow. But I'm really loving the way this plant is playing out. I love the way the leaves are spreading. It's coming out beautifully. The reason why it had this, it didn't have this two um, bamboo stick when I first got it. The reason why it has it is because I, when I transplanted it into this new pot, it was a bit dangly, like <laughs> the neck was <laughs> not st stable. So I had to use this to support it, to give it some weight and some strength while it adjusts to its new environment. So that's why it has this and i think that this the bamboo sticks have helped it to like be firm in the soil so yeah so let's get on with watering it and i would you know bring the other two plants here out also so that you can also see how i water them all of them don't need too much of water just little water um i know people say oh i can't care for plants um friends and um, <laughs> my sister also um, she watches this video, she'll be like, oh, you have to mention me. Yeah, I have to mention you <laughs> if you're watching this. But anyway, yeah, some people can't, you know, they, they say, you know, I don't have the hand for plants. I will kill them. But this plant, I tell you, this plant will love you. You won't, you won't be able to kill it unless you are determined, like you just made up your mind. I want to kill you. And then you're going to just overwater it and kill you. It is so easy to manage every now and then and it's so beautiful like it just lights up the place you know just doing nothing it's on this kitchen table i think it brightens up this old kitchen table um makes it really beautiful um this one has dropped maybe it's meant to drop or probably i must have dragged this when i was pulling it out of the of the jar but yeah it's it looks beauty it's falling it's growing and spreading just the way i love it i just love what it's doing i love what it's doing you tilt it so sometimes you tilt towards light and it doesn't need too much bright light and um, people will recommend that you put it towards the south facing window honestly i'm not good with the east west and north and south i just know that this plant loves little light it needs good light but little light not too much not too harsh just enough light to make it look beautiful so place it in an area in your house where it can get some form of light, not too much, not um, the bright sun coming in. So for me, it's in, on my kitchen. My kitchen window is just there. And so the light comes in here, which is just perfect for it. So it's not too harsh in the mornings. It's not too harsh. It's just okay. Okay, so let's get on to watering it. So I just checked this one and I'm just going to show you it's not it's not dry enough for more water so I'm not going to add any more water to it. Uh, I'm not going to wet it. I thought it was due 
but it looks like it still has some water in it so all i do is just put my finger and touch it and i can feel you know the wetness of the of the soil when you want to water it you need to let it dry out like completely dry out then you give it more water see you've got new leaves coming out isn't that beautiful new leaves are coming out yeah it's just growing i'm just in absolutely in love with this plant and i think a new a new baby is coming i don't know if you can see you know right there it's like a new one is coming up so yeah um yeah so this i'm not going to water because it has enough enough in it so i'm not going to water it but i've got these two here these ones are dry enough you know i've just put my finger in and they're quite dry so these ones need these two need some water because they are dry so i'm just going to show you how i water them cold water and let the water so you can use bottled water for your plants. I don't use water, bottled water, but you can use bottled water, um, distilled water. Um, I've read that it's best for plants to distill your water. So here is what I do. I don't want it to be too harsh on the soil, so I just do that. That's what I do, and I let it drip. Let it drip, and if I want to wash the leaves, I just do that. Wash the leaves, and wash the leaves. So the leaves are washed, and then I do this so that all the water I need to drain out. I leave it by the sink to drain out and then once it's all drained out then I put it back in the pot. So I'm going to do this one next. I'm going to wash the leaves also. The reason I wash is because of dust. Lots of dust settle on the plant leaves and um, it just blocks the air waves, that's what I think, so I just, I don't know if anybody else does this, but this is what I do, and I, I've said that it helps my plants when I wash, them, wash their leaves, so, yeah, so that's it, it's all soaked, and then I shake it a bit, and I leave it on the sink to dry, well, to drip, not to dry, to drip. So I don't want any water, you can see there's water settling down, all that needs to go. I don't want that going back in the pot, in the verse. So I'm just going to leave that here. And I'll dry my hands and I'll bring the other pots and then we can, I can water those ones also here so that you can just see how I do it. So here I have my money plant. I mean, they're all called money plants. But here I've got the tree. And you can see how dry the soil is. And this, <laughs> this lady, I call it a lady, drinks a lot of water. Like it dries out and is the mix. Um, when you're planting it, I learned that when you're planting it, you need to have a, a mix that it drains out quickly um the cactus mix and a quite a rich mix with the cactus mix so i'm going to be reporting this because this is now grown big in this pot and i want to report it into a much bigger one um, the verses in it is big enough to have another bigger size planter so i'm going to put in a bigger planter in another video i'll be showing you how i um, report it into a much bigger planter so anyway i want to water this and i don't put too much water when i'm watering it even though it's dried out like this, I always let it to dry out and then I water it. So I water it like once a week. And I know sometimes I've even forgotten to water it and um, sometimes twice a week. I'm sorry, uh, once in two weeks, but mainly once a week when I'm going around and I'm checking my plants, you know, just using my finger and just touching 
and just seeing if they need more water and then I give it some more water. So this I'm going to water now because as you can see I'm going to bring close to the camera. It is really dry and needs some water. So the same thing I'm going to do. I'm just going to run the tap. Sometimes, okay, I'll, I'll just show you something. Sometimes I use my watering can. I've got this watering can that I use. And sometimes I use the watering can. I just put water in it. Or if I'm feeding them, I'll put uh, the feed in it. And then I put water. So I'll show you the feed that I use. I use this feed. It's a plant, uh, baby bio plant food. This is a feed I use. For the, uh, for the indoor plants. So every now and then, I just put a few drops into the water and then um, a few drops into this and then fill this up and then water the plants. Just little, little bits of water in it here. Not too much, not too much. So I'm gonna keep this away because I'm just gonna use the tap directly. So I'm gonna run the tap again. And then I'm just going to use my hand and I just water it. I'm doing the same thing. This is so free draining. You can see that the water is literally going through the soil and dripping as I'm putting it. It's wetting it and it's just dripping. Okay. So you can see. That's dripping, and I let it drip here. So I'm going to leave it inside the sink and let it drip, and then I'll take it back into its pot. I'm not washing the leaves of this because I'm going to report it, and I will do the washing of the leaves when I report it. And this is another sweet one. I bought this at this size. It's also a, it's a jade plant, and it came with two leaves, as you're seeing, and it, another leaf that was here, but that dropped off. So um, it just came with one, two, three, four, five, five leaves when it came. Um, but you can see that it's growing. Another leaf is coming off and right at the top, two more and two more here. So not bad. And under, under if you see the camera, there's another two coming up there. So it is doing well. Um, the, the soil doesn't need too much water. And this one doesn't have a planter, so this is planted directly into the pot. This is how I bought it. It's just planted directly into the pot. Um, but if you wanted, if you wanted, you could put it in a planter like this, and then put it into a pot, and then it's easier for you to like water it and then let it drip, and then you put it back. But when plants are in a pot directly and there isn't any hole, I try not to put as much water as I'll put for this one. So just very little water. I might just use my hand and I just do that. Just like that. Not too much. And I like to touch the leaves with water. And it just has enough. And then that's just enough for it. Or what I can do is get a sprinkler. I put a sprinkler and sometimes I just spray, spray them with, with water. And that's how I water these plants. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that you found this information helpful in taking care of your money plants in your home. And I want to encourage you to try getting these plants because they are absolutely lovely. They just light up the home. And I had like three other plants, you know, indoor plants before I got this batch, this set. And since having this batch, the house just feels really clean. I don't know. I think <laughs> they bring some magic in. They bring some, you know, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but there is just the way my house feels. My house just feels warm, beautiful. Um, there's just lots of peace and love and clarity. So um, it may be these plants, maybe not. But yeah, um, I encourage you to um, yeah consider having the money plants. People have said that um, bringing in the money plants into their home you know, has opened the doors financially for them and cleared out money blocks. So try it. You have nothing to lose, you know? Yeah. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you on my next video. Bye for now.